Hello everyone, Stacy here. I'm back to show you my design team project for Calico Collage for July. And this month I got to use this kit, um, Dragonfly Delight. And I had, I think it's uh, so pretty with the turquoise and the pink. Um, so I've, I've decided to try a ring bound journal for the first time. I've not made one of these before and it, it is a little more challenging than what you think, but, but I did have a lot of fun doing it and I have, paired my uh, this kit with a mixed media paper pad that I found um, at Michael's so it gave it that art journal sort of feel and this is uh, all this chipboard pieces and uh, it was like a Heidi Swap mixed media or cinch kit and it was on clearance and I have a bunch of them and I was trying to figure out how to use it so I thought this journal was perfect for that so I have these really large brass rings and I used, um, you know, little eyelets here. And just for interest, I, I didn't make them all the same. I put two small ones here and a little big one here. I've added this little key, this little key charm. And I've got lots of little bits that match the kit here. Just some, you know, some sari silk, some pink crinkle ribbon. This is like a turquoise that kind of matches the kit. And some cotton. And this, all the outside of the chipboard cover on the back and the front, I have used like a bronze to match the kit, like the colors in the kit. So I've, I've put this color bronze all the way around the edge of both the front and the back. And you could kind of see here where I've did a little bit of stickles on the dragonfly. Okay, so we'll jump right in here. Like I said, this is sort of like a mixed media art journal feel. Um, this is a piece from the kit and I just stapled it to this little piece of acetate that came in that Heidi Swap kit that I had. I just stapled it on there. And then right here you can see the little fairy peeking out. This is uh, one of the page from the kit and all these little pieces here that I have also, you know, used that gold bronze paint all the way around the pieces. The happiness is flying with your own wings. This comes in the kit, those little bits. And then uh, the front cover is got a little piece, pieces from the kit and some of my own washi tape here. But these are also, uh, Norella has like a, a, a whole page of different mixed media labels. And the, you'll see a couple of them in this journal, but here's one of them. I did a previous video. Um, I'll try and link that where I show you all a bunch of those. And I've backed all her pages, again, with the line pages so that it still gives you that diary feel, but there's all kinds of like mixed media and watercolored scrapbook paper in here. So even if you're not like a, you know, mixed media or into painting, it gives you that feel with, you know, a still of a, a regular journal type feeling, diary, whatever you want. And all of my miscellaneous pages are all paper bags. These are all paper bag pages. And I've just done lots of stitching around just to give it that interest, kind of mat to match the stitching that's in some of the um, the the pages. This is um from the kit. I've just done some sorry silk and stitched around. I've used some junk mail envelopes. There's nothing in that one, but there's one of her labels. I did a little bit of stamping. I've really started to enjoy doing my stamps. And this is some Dilusions paper and it matched really well with some of the pages in the kit. And I tried printing, my, for some reason my printer does not like vellum, but it did manage to print a little bit and I was salvaged this piece, but it's still pretty. And then here's some more pages from the kit. These are also, I just clipped that on. So it's nice to have some black pages as well. There's a little tuck spot. And I love that, um, I've used like lots of different, I made all these reinforced pieces from the scrap so none of them match. They're all like different colors and stuff. I've used this sticker from my stash and when you fold it over, it's the heart is in the center there. So here's another, here's one of these scrapbook papers that gives you that mixed, meal, mixed media feel like painted backdrop. And it, it just has a lot of the same colors as the, the dragonfly kit. Here's a time card and I've just, here's a, this is a tiny little dragonfly brad that I had. 
lots of paper bag pages. There's another envelope. There's a little piece from the kit, the key. And there's another one of those labels I was talking about. Another postcard, some more delusions, paper, some stitching accent. Uh, here's another car, uh, tag from the kit. And here's another piece I salvaged of my vellum printing that didn't uh, really work but I've added some trims just brings out more of the turquoise in the pages there's another tuck spot some more of that scrapbook paper here's another piece of acetate that was in that Heidi swap kit I just thought it looked really neat against the brown paper bag page here is a little tag I made this is a piece from the kit I just added this little fabric this is a vintage uh, Rolodex card. Just some little stitching. I love this page here, this mixed media look here. Paint. Here's another uh, just a Rolodex card I made with some my washi and my stamps. I had this little dragonfly stamp that was really pretty. And then here's a little bag. I just added like a guest check in there. Yeah, so I really enjoyed making a ring bound journal. That was my first attempt and it won't be my last, that's for sure. I'm definitely going to do it again. I'd like to try it with one of those Reader's Digest books. I've seen people do them with, do the ring bound ones with with those covers when you can't salvage the spine so you can either make a new spine or you could do these I have all kinds of sizes of these brass rings this is my favorite tag there I love it and this is my favorite spread here I love this mixed media page next to next to this image here it looks really nice So I, I kept it very simple. I didn't add a lot of pockets and tuck spots and flips. I just let the pages speak for itself. This is from the kit. I did like, you know, I did make some of the pages shorter and longer. Here's um, some ephemera journal cards from the kit as well. And this sorry silk here, this nice gold color matched perfect with this, with the colors on this page. I just did a added a little guest check there. This is a little tuck spot here. Here's the envelope from the kit as well. It's got this pretty little envelope that comes in the kit. There's a tuck spot. And then there's the back. Like I said, I've used this um, distressed look or aged look with the bronze around the edge. Okay guys, uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me and checking this out. Let me know what you think of my very first attempt at a ring bound journal. Should I make more? <laughs> um, thanks guys for watching and I will link this kit below so that you can check out the Dragonfly kit. And um, I look forward to maybe somebody tagging me to see what you use, how you use this kit. Okay guys, take care.